Hi all, I thought for this video I'd just do a quick sort of crash course in um, how to read a schematic. Um, if you're new to electronics you might see the schematic and um, it probably appears pretty uh, daunting just looking at it like hier hieroglyphics or something but um, it's not really that hard to um, to understand. I can't tell you how the um, this circuit actually works. I um, have a basic understanding of how it works but I couldn't go into uh, mathematical equations and things like that but the thing is that um, when you build your own uh, clones and um, uh, and mod guitar pedals and things like that you don't really need to understand the electronics engineering behind it uh, but it's still pretty handy to know how a schematic works because um, like if you're if you're checking over your uh, uh, something that happened a while ago um, a friend was having a uh, problem with his pedal and um, and um, we went back to the schematic and um, basically worked out that he had that he had a capacitor in the wrong way um, and uh, yeah we worked that out from looking at the schematic so yeah it can be a handy thing to know so to start off with um, D1 is a diode and you can tell what type it is because it's got um, the number there 194001 the line is the negative of the diode and the um, triangle um, is the positive. A diode blocks voltage in a particular direction. This is actually turned around the um, opposite way so it's um, used for um, reverse polarity um, protection in case you, I th I'm pretty sure it's in case you uh, accidentally put ground here and, um, and, and 9 volts here it'll protect the circuit. The next symbol um, is C3, capacitor 3, and it's electrolytic, and you can tell it's an electrolytic because it has a um, sort of a crescent on one side and a straight line on the other, and the plus, as you probably know by now, the capacitors, are, the electrolytic capacitors are polarized, you have to put them in the circuit the right way, so uh, looking at the schematic you can tell um, uh, which way to put your, your capacitor in because it says they're plus is connected to 9 volts which makes sense and negative is connected to ground. <coughs> the next symbol is uh, resistor R5 um, represented by this little squiggly line and the value underneath is 4.7k that's pretty straightforward. All these squiggly lines are resistors. This is also a resistor this squiggly line down the bottom here with 1, 2, 3 and the arrow except it's actually a potentiometer. Um, uh, you can tell it's a potentiometer because of this arrow uh, which represents the wiper of the of the um, of the potentiometer, so if you sort of thought of it mechanically, as you turn the potentiometer left and right, you'd be moving this this arrow up and down on on the resistance, uh, changing the amount of resistance, uh, increasing and decreasing it as you turn the as you turn the dial. You'd also be able to work out which lug uh, is connected to which track on your board by looking at the schematic, because it's got this it's got the numbers three, two, and one. So, for instance, if you're trying to work out which one was which track lug one was connected to, you'd just check the three tracks until you find the one that's connected to ground and you'd know that lug one on the potentiometer is connected to that particular track because it goes to ground. Back up the top here we've got um, LED. If it didn't say LED, uh, you'd still be able to work out that it's an LED because it's a, an LED, uh, if you've watched my other videos, you would have heard me say that um, an uh, LED is a diode um, and you can you can see that the symbol for an LED is is the same as um, this diode that we're looking at before because they're both diodes uh, except this one's got the little arrows pointing off which I'm assuming is the uh, uh, photons the um, the light um, emitting from the from the diode so um, yeah you can tell that this is a this is an LED because of those those arrows. This is also a capacitor on the left hand side here, um, but it's not electrolytic. You can see that it's two bold straight lines, whereas the one we looked at before up here is, um, has got the plus and the curved line. This particular capacitor is actually um, the input capacitor. It's called the input capacitor on, on guitar pedals, and it's pretty common to see a 100 nanofarad um, capacitor next to in if you increase the amount um, of capacitance on this first um, on the input capacitor you actually allow more bass to come through uh, from your guitar signal so increasing increasing this C1 
uh, the like to 200 nanofarads or, or whatever um, will allow more bass to come through but um, uh, reducing it will reduce the amount of bass into your circuit um, that's a very common mod uh, that people do in in my other video uh, the, the th um, three um, three basic mods uh, yeah I've actually got a um, an uh, input capacitor switch um, selector on the front of my box of crock that I showed you uh, all that's doing is just changing um, between two capacitors a high value and a lower value but anyway that's slightly off the topic um, the only other symbol that we've got um, left is this one in the middle Q1 and um, uh, Q is um, transistor and this particular symbol is for a FET the symbols can change um, slightly between the um, the transistors but they've all got the three the three lugs and they all start with Q so yeah that's that's pretty much what they look like um, this this symbol in the middle here this is actually the data sheet for that particular um, FET um, the BS170 and you can see over here you've got the symbol that was on the um, schematic it's pretty much the same except it's got this diode here just ignore that diode um, but the rest of the of the um, symbol is the same and um, you can see that it's got drain gate and source and then over on this other side here this is actually the physical appearance of the of the um, transistor and it's got DG and S uh, drain gate source so you know which way to, to, to insert it into the schematic by looking at um, at the physical appearance of the um, of the transistor so you make sure you orientate it the right way around when you um, when you put it into your circuit some of the MPN transistors that we use uh, have a bit of a different symbol to this. It looks sort of, the, it's the same sort of principle though. You've got, you'll have collector, base and emitter and then you'll have the um, physical appearance of the transistor that you can check which one's the collector, the base and the emitter to make sure that you insert into the circuit the right way around. So you've just got 9 volt ground in, out and SW. SW is not a common thing that you'll see, it's just on this particular circuit. You, you also may notice that there's a few grounds. Um, you've got you've got one ground. Sorry, I changed the icon. You've got one ground here, one ground here, one ground here, one ground here, one ground here. They're all actually connected together, even though on the schematic they don't. It doesn't show that they're connected together. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, I've explained that grounds kind of like the uh, waste pipe in your house, all the all the sinks and the toilets all connect up to the one waste pipe and um, all the all the waste goes down that pipe. Uh, you could sort of imagine a ground being like that. Um, once you finish with the voltage or the current, it um, it goes down to um, down to ground. So yeah, just sort of imagine that there's a big um, a big pipe collecting all this this ground and sending it off. In this particular small circuit, um, it wouldn't be that hard just to draw a line from here to here to here to here, to here, and then off. Um, but in more complicated uh, uh, schematics, it's, it, can, it, can get, it, it could get very confusing if you're trying to connect them all together. So they just put the symbol ground to say that yes, all grounds are connected together. It, it makes this schem schematic easier to read, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So that's basically it. Um, this sort of crush course on how to read a schematic. Um, yeah, I hope you've, uh, hope you've um, learnt something from it and um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.